This video is about how to make the most of your raw milk run in Illinois. Now I found I pick up about two gallons at a time. I found the igloo cooler in a two gallon size works great because you can seal it up. It keeps it really cold on the transport home which is very important to make your milk last the longest. Now after I get it home, the nice thing about this container is it does seal really well. You can use the handle. You can use the handle and twist it to shake it up and then even shake it up and down to get everything mixed. And then after trial and error with these stupid jugs and different gallon container milk jug things, reusing water bottles, that just sucks because you can't really clean them. Um, and <laughs> it doesn't keep the milk cool on the transport home. And also the plastic leaches out or it just doesn't make it last as long so when I get it home I transfer it into the small containers let me open up this igloo here so she made it home pretty nicely here's my raw milk I've already transferred one gallon out of here beautiful raw milk right out of the udder I saw the cows myself transfer it down into these containers uh, these half gallon ball jars were really actually not very expensive. Uh, it was 11 bucks for six of them. So that's three gallons worth. So I'm transferring into these, putting those in the fridge. I have four of those out of this. And then I think to drink it, I might pour it into this bottle one at a time so that it's easier to pour out and use it over the next couple days. That's only gonna take me a few days to use. Then I can rinse that container out, it's a wide mouth. So yeah, I think this is gonna work out real nice. You've got to go with the igloo container. Don't be trying to go with this type of crap. And I mean, your first couple times it works, but you can't reuse this. You never really get it clean. I tried to clean it, it's not really clean. I don't care for that not too great so yeah that's what i recommend i saw um, a bunch of indian people last time i was there they were picking up like 30 gallons and they had they had a couple decent containers but a whole bunch of mismatched gallon containers and crap i was just like wow it was like 30 different containers they were trying to transport like all the way back to chicago like 45 minutes and they didn't even have coolers or nothing i was just like oh my gosh I hope to see them again so that I can talk to them more because I also found out those people were uh, they were getting the raw milk taking it home and heating it pasteurizing it again or pasteurizing it. I was like I was like what are you guys I, I can't believe it I was like I'm shocked and they're like oh really they're like oh we're gonna look into raw milk I'm like yeah I don't know why you're <laughs> taking this perfect milk here and taking it back home, putting it on the stove, heating it back up to low temperature, pasteurize it, which I agree is probably better than what you get at the store. And it is raw milk. They said the main reason they were doing it was for the fats. And I felt like they were missing out on a huge, huge part of it. So yeah, this is what you need. They make them in the two gallon, one gallon, five gallon containers, half gallon mason jars, ball jars are cheap. Um, cheapest way that I found is these ball jars because I searched online and all the other containers were way more money for anything that was decent that I could use in a similar fashion that was easily cleanable. So for the money, these are the way to go. Get yourself a, either a two gallon igloo or a five gallon igloo if you're picking up that much oil. It or oh, oil, sorry. I work on cars also. Um, picking up that much raw milk, it definitely works great. This thing seals up pretty nicely. I had no problems bringing it home. I might actually have to make like a some type of a box to hold it for when I like floor it and slam on the brakes because I drive like a maniac. Um, <laughs> I kind of wanted to roll a couple times. I had to grab it, but I had it in the front seat just grab the handle. So it worked out pretty good. It's sealed, sealed the top tight, nothing leaked out. So it worked out really good. All right, guys, you got to get your raw milk. This is the way to do it in Illinois. We have to go out to the farm to pick up. 
Uh, they can't provide containers, so you have to bring your own containers, which I think creates a bit of a problem when you have junky old containers being brought back that could potentially be contaminated with other bacteria. And then they can blame it on the raw milk, of course, which is ridiculous. So yeah, the coloring on this is pretty good. I don't have my flash on right now, but it's about what it looks like in real life. It's a yellow, definitely a creamy tint. That's the actual yeah, color right there. Raw milk, I love it. I'm making kefir too. I'll include some of my kefir videos soon just to show how easy that is. That is really easy. So I'm gonna get this milk back in the fridge. Finish transferring this over before it gets any warmer. The colder you keep the milk, the longer it lasts. Like one out, I think I heard it like every hour above 38 that it takes days off the lifespan of it turning into cheese. I mean, it's not gonna be rotten, it's just gonna ferment, it's gonna turn into clabber, which some people like it fresh. I don't mind it, it's partially clabbered, but mine tends to get to a point where it gets cheesy, but I've also been keeping it in a plastic container, so I'm interested to see how the storage in the glass containers will last. I'm trying to get the milk to last me about two weeks, two weeks off of this run, so I only have to run out there every two weeks. I drink about a gallon a week. Um, we'll see how this kefir goes. I might be increasing to three gallons every two weeks. If I can get the milk to stay, I'm trying to see how fresh I can keep the milk. Because that's also better for kefir. So, yeah. That's the ticket. You got to get one of these. Especially in the summer. Transporting milk back in 90 degree heat. You're not getting fresh milk home. No way. You've got to keep that shit cold. I find this to be a very easy way. Uh, the igloo I think only cost me like 12 bucks. The five gallon ones are only 20. These only cost me 11 bucks, 12 bucks. That little container was like a dollar 50. Um, so yeah, the milk in Illinois, I got a really good deal on it. I'm not even gonna say the price, but it's under $10 a gallon by more than $3. So yeah, it's a really affordable deal. It's definitely worth it. And uh, yeah, raw milk, I'm trying to build these muscles. Recovering a little bit from all that plant-based diet crap. So yeah, raw milk for life. Out.